All right, guys, you are all invited to the Woodchuck's Garage block party. You all ready to join in? Got our blocks here. Ready? I'm gonna put sandpaper <laughs> on here. We're gonna be doing this number. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing that. We got a long block, got a little bitty block, and we have a squeegee. What this does is take off the residue and keep going. We got spray bottles. There it goes. There it goes. Doing the sprinkler. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to entertain you guys. Love it or hate it. I'll right, get back to you here in a little while. Oh boy. Well, so far, looks like they're blocking out fairly well. Seeing anything that uh, needs to be reprimed. I'm confident uh, it should turn out really nice. We're working on the final blocking here on the tall hood. Realize we're a little short on the four hundred wet paper. We knocked everything down first with dry three twenty. Then once the four hundred, we're just trying to get maximum mileage out of it. Uh, by using the block, you can hang the block for here a hot second. If you can take this section here and just tear off that part there. Then you can use that. Gives us a fresh uh, piece of paper. We don't just drop this in the water. If you know me and my scraps, even stuff like this can be used to get in these little tight spots here in the corners. So might as well just keep using it until it's completely gone. Once we're satisfied, everything's been sanded so we can get a really nice finish. Then we're done. We can throw this out. We have a couple of that squirt bottle full of water, jug full of water to keep us going. But we've been sanding on the top front side, the back side, the edges. Again, you can use this for stuff like that. You know, why use a big piece, use a small piece. Get in here and roll those edges so it looks nice in between the transitions. We're going to use it in here. Get all the way around. These are getting these little tight spots, even though this is covered by that other fender extension. If you got sand yet, probably should go grab those before I forget. But we're satisfied, looking good. Uh, pretty soon we're going to get the shop rearranged to have just the Mustang in the shop. We're going to send the C10 out into a temporary enclosure until this thing gets painted, which will probably be here in the next couple of days. our transformation c10 is now out in this deal we've cleaned up the shop real well we have both fenders in here sitting on saw horses we have hung the plastic up and this is just your cheap uh, box store plastic 0.31 mil. I leave it folded up until the day of painting and I just pull it down and anchor it by any means necessary and that'll serve as our paint booth. I'll probably set up an older box fan here in the door, cover up the top portion with some cardboard, what have you, so I'll pull it out. Uh, we'll condense this table down a little bit more to make it more uh, user-friendly for the paintwork. 
The course port is now finished. All welds have been ground. We need to finish sanding the core support. Then we'll actually take a rattle bomb two-in-one primer and primer these bare metal spots. These are the areas no one's ever going to see once that goes on. Now I did the right thing and elected not to paint the buckets with primer. I kept that clear because these will go back black. And we'll tape it once again when I go to spray the uh, parts. Then we will do all of the black, including the buckets, and this after the paint job. Yeah, I could do it before, but we're kind of running out of time as usual. We need to finish prepping the doors on both sides. Hood's all set to go. And the front fender extensions are good to go. I may just hang them. Not sure what I'm going to do with them just yet. Still working on the other small stuff here. We'll be working on that when we can. The goal is uh, next Saturday, that's going to be paint day. We'll go ahead and get all this done. Till then, thanks for watching Woodchuck's Garage.